Moroccans, the Tajin got too bubbly. I don't know what to do. I had to take the lid off. So we got some leakage going on. Welcome, more acro here. An American who spent a lot of time in Morocco. And while in Morocco, I tried many Tajins. I even tried to cook some myself, as you saw in that little intro clip. So today's video is dedicated to the Moroccan Tajin and all of its varieties. We'll be taking a tour through some chicken, seafood, and some special Eid Tajin. So stay tuned to the end to see our spectrum of Tajins cooked by both Moroccans and foreigners here in Morocco. Let's see if the eggs are cooked. Ah uh, yeah, they're kind of cooked. That was a rather amateur tagine. Let's go to a professional octopus tagine. Agron. Today we head north of Tamrat toward boilers to have an octopus tagine. Wow, wow, wow. Mohammed enjoys fishing and living here in Morocco. Baraka, Safi Baraka. Celebrating. Look at these bubbles. Cat, wanna try? Wow, excellent. So good, eh? My favorite tagine so far. <laughs> excellent. Excellent. Amazing. It's beautiful octopus, octopus pieces. Oh my god. Uh, tagine chicken. Yeah. <laughs> it's here. Octopus. It's jump. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. It's true. Yeah. Wow. That video makes me miss Morocco a lot. That setting, that tagine, beautiful. Now, he said chicken tagine was down here, but I'm going to share with you my favorite chicken tagine we encountered in our travels. Next. <laughs> With preserved lemon. Oh, look at that sauce. Chip your leg. Looks juicy, huh? Mm -hmm. mm, yummy chicken. So, this tagine is really unbelievable. Kind of tastes like a hush puppy from Long John Silver's in a really good way. I think that's even sweet potato. Andrea thinks it's orange turnip, but this thing is real real tagine look at the consistency this is i, I don't know it's, it's, wow that was a good tagine it was raised at bab el wed and they do all their ingredients on the farm it's an eco lodge near agdiz morocco in the tamnugal valley a place with plenty of palm trees and old caspas to check out before we go back to our moroccan tagines i'm gonna share a quick american inspired tagine recipe by myself and some olive oil. Put some garlic in there. Those good together. And that looks like quite a bit of tomatoes, but we're gonna let the sauce cook and thicken. Oregano, some pepper, some salt. A little basil for good effect. Sauce has reduced, we got less water in there. We're gonna put the eggplant right on top of there. Now the moment we've all been waiting for, we add our two cheese. Add a mozzarella blend. Super cheesy tagine. Wow. Listen to that tagine bubble. Wow. Cheese on your tagine. You won't regret it. This was early in my tagine cooking days. I'll share one later in which we did a much better job, more traditional tagine. Some say the best tagine chefs, of course, are Moroccan mothers. So our next tagine was made with leftover meat from Aid El Adha which is the celebration in which a sheep or goat is sacrificed. And as you can imagine, there's plenty of meat in these days. Mohammed from Tarist was generous enough to invite us over to his house where his mom made us a Hawli Tajin. We made it to Agadir. Thanks for inviting us today, Mohammed. You know, like now it's done. Let's start have you heard of Atarras? One thing I'll put eight. One thing I'll put eight. One thing I'll put eight. This is not the first time you've been in a Moroccan house. No, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's a prunes. Oh, wow. Prunes and... Uh, peach. Uh, peach. 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 Those, those are French fries. That looks good. Home fries. Uh, 
Yeah, thank you, Mohammed, for having us for this beautiful tagine today and for your mother for cooking it. You're welcome, you're welcome, bro. It's nothing. Showing us some Moroccan hospitality. I know Andrea is super excited about this tagine. A knife mm. or something? No, no, we will do it. No, Moroccan way. See. There's meat. Oh, it's meat. Mm. Mm -hmm. Always eat good in Morocco. Mm -hmm. Yeah, welcome. This was cooked on the barbecue. Yeah. Slow all morning. In the cold one, oh, wow. we call it. Yeah. Mm. Oh, wow. <laughs> Home tagine is it's the best tagine. You know, we save him this this meat and today and then here you are, you know, he's I, eating it. <laughs> I love it. It's so good. The best tagine is uh, eat tagine, man. Eh? Yeah, man. Yeah, definitely. Like the, 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 the eat meat is, is different. Though. I love a tagine with fries on top, especially home cooked fries. Thank you, Mohammed and family, for the hospitality. Our next tagine is a street slash restaurant tagine in Tiki Win, a neighborhood of Agadir. No, no, no. We are going to Tiki Win. Tiki Win. Simple menu, nothing but goat tagine. Steps to a goat tagine. Lahim. Bisla on top. Oh, well, multitasking, multitasking. Okay. Oh, yeah, he put some dry resins in it. All the olives are for you, man. Really? Yeah. yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The bone sticking out. Mm. Are you going to wait? I'm going to wait a little bit. Are you going to wait? I'm going to be like Icarus here and uh, get too close to the Tajin. Yeah. Have you had this tagine before? Yes, I came here before. You like it? Yes. It's not my first rodeo. Tajin with friends is always great. Everyone takes from their corner the Tajin and memories are made. I miss the Moroccan people as well, such as this friendly man. The next Tajin is another home cooked Tajin, this time in the Argentinian style and a vegetarian Tajin. Where's the meat? <laughs> <laughs> Vegetarian tazi. Veggies are chopped. Uh, start with the spring onion, maybe. Later. You gotta get some oil in there already. Yeah. German says oil already. <laughs> Very healthy. Otherwise. I think we should also drizzle some oil over there. More yes. oil? Yeah. I'm going to add some soya sauce. Soy sauce in the tagine? Yes. <laughs> wow, what this is getting it? weird now. Uh, voila. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Can you smell it? Oh yeah, we can smell it. Next tagine is with our friend Felix that you saw in the last video in which we enjoy another goat tagine in Orir, Morocco. Tafernaut. Oh, tagine lahem. Wow. Shukran. Just in time, he says. <laughs> Tajin time. Bismillah. Just going with the, the fork into the beef. Little juice. <laughs> Interesting. We'll say use less bread. Tasty. A lot of fat. Fat is flavor. The yeah. meat must have been cooked for several hours because uh, there's bones in it and it's like falls off the bone. It's really tender. Look at it. Look at that. Yeah. Show me this piece. Okay. I eat it. It just, it just falls off. Right? I've never seen a tagine like this with the, the, the things, these dates as well. It smells really good. Yeah, it's very nice. Mm -hmm. One you know, of the special things about this meal is a taffer nut, bread. I saw Felix, you gotta eat from your corner. Number one rule the tagine, you eat from your corner. Learning tagine etiquette. One day at a time. <laughs> Alright, so Felix, you gonna take the chili pepper, you gonna dip the bread into it. To, you know, get, get some spice, get some spice in there, and then you go into the tagine with that. Right. See, I'm 29 years old. I'm just starting out to eat a lamb testicle. Mm -hmm. 
Eat it up, eat it up. All day. Our next tagine is another one from Orir. This one, another home-cooked one from our friends Hussein and Nezha, who invited us for a nice Moroccan dip. <laughs> Moroccan feast here. We have fried sole with a beautiful crispy bread in there. Yeah. And we have some potato carrot salad, beet salad, shrimp and pasta dish, chicken with zucchini and argan oil. Right inside of here, something we haven't seen before. Calamari tagine. Wow, look at those. Andrea's excited about that. Is this like a special? Oh, cutting it. This is a sauce. Okay. What's inside of here? Rice. Rice. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Looks yummy. So stuffed calamari. It looks so soft, the calamari. Yeah. People tell me I need to use less bread when I eat tajin. You know what I mean? Less bread. Less bread, people tell me. I eat too much bread, so no, just, so... just small. <laughs> Not small. Mostly it's a big calamari. one. But... <laughs> There's no problem. Try it. Yeah. Mm. It's amazing, huh? <laughs> Calamari, when you put it in anything, it will be delicious, I mm -hmm. think. Right. Yeah! I am lucky that I have a, a beautiful wife like here. <laughs> Thanks for the tajin. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. A top-notch, home-cooked Moroccan tajin, stuffed calamari. That was the only time I've ever seen that one, and watching this video makes me hungry for another one. The next tagine is home cooked, this time by two Slovenian women in Tamrat, Morocco. Two Slovenians cooking tagine. Have you ever made a tagine before? Yeah, I know, I've never made never. tagine. We do not have a problem. Do camels eat limes? Y'all are weird. I thought like prunes go in. Yeah, prunes, but we bought it. What's the difference? It's the same. It looks the same. What's the difference? Dun dun dun. Slovenian tajin. It looks yummy. Not bad. Mm, not you want to try? What the man mm. improves? Yes. In my opinion, that Slovenian chicken tagine was better than the homemade vegetable tagine. What do you think? Did it look tasty? All right, our next tagine, we're taking a trip back to Bab El Wed to try a tagine with quince or spargel for the first time. And tagine. Yes. Oh. Hey. Ooh. Wow, that looks amazing. I'm happy it's Tajin. Yeah. Mm. Alright, Andrea's trying the spargel now. Okay. Or what are you doing? I don't know, I just tried to. Mm. Good Tajin? Mm -hmm. uh, very good. Just like, I love it. Mm. But spargel, I don't know. I had like a little Eat bit. Eat the spargel, that's what this is all about. All about the sparrow. Yeah, eat it's it. It's very thick. Eat it. I like it actually. It's like a little bit sour even, but because the all around is like salty and sweet, it's great balance. But it's yeah, really weird, like spongy texture, almost yeah, like a meat. And what makes the Moroccan tagine very special is the Moroccan ingredients. Again, they're at Baba El Wed. All of it came from the Dra River Valley, so super tasty. And our final tagine is one cooked at home with our friend Sally. It's a Moroccan sweet tagine cooked with lamb, prunes, and almonds. Let us know how we did. I think this is personally the best uh, homemade foreign tagine we've seen in this video. Look how many onions in there. I think we're off to a good start though. Pop the almonds in here. Just pop. Oh. Oh, big piece of lamb there. Turmeric. 
little bit of cinnamon, rasa halnut, black pepper, ginger, and salt. And we're adding almonds. <laughs> With the sauce from the tagine. Haphazard kitchen. How about that? Cinnamon. Really for the honey, but. Uh, yeah, look at those toasted almonds now. You really see those caramelized <laughs> onions and lamb. Do you wait for it to cool down? Yeah, dip, hold, wait. Mm. It's really good. It's really good? Yeah. Moroccan style. Moroccan style. Mm. It's good. Mm, 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 Full mm. flavor. Mm -hmm. The sauce tastes very uh, Moroccan tagine style. Yeah, it's very pretty rich. authentic. <laughs> <laughs> it's both healthy. Oops, good iftor, Sally. Iftor, it was a very good iftor. Mm. Now we're just scraping off the bottom because that's really, really, really delicious. And that was our trip through 12 tagines from the coast to the desert, from homes to restaurants. We explored Moroccan cuisine in the form of the tagine. Now all these tagines probably have some names. I don't exactly know them. I just know that they're tasty. So thank you for making to this point. If you did, definitely subscribe and type in what tagine we are missing from this list. What is your favorite? Drop a comment below and we'll see you next time.